orchestra is working to spread the love for music worldwide this summer. The orchestra's main clarinetist is in Tanzania this summer, teaching several kids how to play the clarinet. Our Jared Austin joins us live in studio this morning. This is now his 13th summer visiting the country, Jared. And each and every time, Gary Spurl visits different schools and orphanages each, each year in Tanzania, teaching kids about the clarinet. But it's more than that for this East African country. He also shows them how clarinets are specifically unique to Tanzania. The Knoxville Symphony Orchestra plays several shows a year for East Tennesseans, giving the audience a taste of all types of instruments. It's something many people in the U.S. can start learning in school, but that's not the case across the world. They don't have music in their government schools here. That's why Gary Spurl with the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra brings his talents to Tanzania. He's done it so long, his students now have students. Up to now, I have three students who are continuing, and I'm looking forward for another student. In his time teaching Tanzanians, he also teaches them the history of clarinets and other woodwind instruments. The biggest likely being the tree used to make them, the Mpingo tree, is Tanzania's national tree. People will understand the value of the tree and the value of the, of the, of the instrument itself because when you see an instrument, you see that it will represent where we are because it has the unique of the tree which we have. The number of Mpingo trees is dropping at a rapid pace in Tanzania, which is why Gary works to conserve the Mpingo tree and also helped his students plant more than a thousand of them. This being just a small piece of why he loves going back every year. I'm the lucky one because I get to come every uh, summer and see these guys, see how they're progressing, uh, work with them and plant more trees. <laughs> Gary says working with clarinets and planting in pingo trees can create reliable jobs and income for Tanzanian families and the entire country. Now, Harry and Casey, what Gary is also looking forward to for Tanzania is the country is considering making music an option in schools right now. It's not offered, so looking forward to that opportunity there. Yeah, it's something uh, maybe a lot of us take for granted here. You don't think about that, so that's great work he's doing over there. Jared, thanks. It is 5.13.